Hi guys, in the previous video we were talking about trigonometric ratios and we'll just do a small revision of it. Say if we have the right angle triangle ABC, right angle at B and if we know that angle A is equal to theta, theta can be any angle, then sin theta that is nothing but perpendicular by hypotenuse here the perpendicular is for a opposite side that is bc and hypotenuse is ac the longest side the next ratio was cos theta this was nothing but base by hypotenuse base is the adjacent side that is ab by the hypotenuse AC. The third ratio was tan theta or tangent of angle theta that was nothing but sin theta by cos theta and we had perpendicular by base or this was BC by AB. Now let's write the ratios which can be found out by inverting these. On inverting sin theta we have cosec theta which was equal to hypotenuse by perpendicular and hence is equal to AC by BC. On inverting cos theta we would have sec theta which is nothing but hypotenuse by base and hence is AC by AB. And finally, on inverting tan theta, we would have cot theta, which is nothing but base by perpendicular and is equal to AB by BC. I hope everyone remembers this now. Now in this video, we'll talk of a small concept. It says that if we know any one of the ratios, then we can find out all the other ratios. Now let's see how. Say we are given that sine of theta is 1 by 3. What does this actually mean? It means that if there is a right angle triangle, say this one, where this angle is theta, say we call it A, B, C, this angle is 90 degrees. So sine of theta is nothing but B, C by the hypotenuse A, C. This is sine of theta, the opposite side by the hypotenuse, correct? And it's given as 1 by 3. So the ratio of this side by the hypotenuse is 1 by 3. If we assume that BC is any number, say K, if BC is K units, then by this relationship, we would have AC equal to 3 times BC or 3K units. So this becomes K, this becomes 3K units. Now don't we guys remember the Pythagoras theorem? Yeah, it's time to apply that. So here in triangle ABC, right angle at B, we have AC square equal to BC square plus AB square. Correct? So here we don't know the value of AB. So we can write AB square as AC square minus BC square. That is nothing but 9K square minus K square or equal to 8K square. Hence, AB would be equal to K times 
टू रूट टू और टू रूट टू के नाउ फाइंडिंग आउट द रेशोज इज प्रिटी सिंपल सो वी हैव ए बी एज टू रूट टू के बी सी एज के एंड ए सी एज थ्री के लेट मी रेज दिस एंड वील फाइंड आउट ऑल दी अदर रेशोज सो वी नो दैट साइन ऑफ थीटा इज वन बाई थ्री देन वील फाइंड आउट कॉस थीटा वॉट वॉज कॉस थीटा द एडजेसेंट साइड और द बेस बाय हाइपर टेन यूज विच इज इक्वल टू ए बी बाय ए सी दैट इज टू रूट टू के बाय ए सी वॉज थ्री के and k gets cancelled we have 2 root 2 by 3 so if sin theta is 1 by 3 cos theta would be 2 root 2 by 3 and tan theta would be perpendicular by base or you can just say it is sin theta by cos theta and sin theta was 1 by 3 and cos theta is 2 root 2 by 3 so tan theta becomes 1 by 2 root 2 and we know that cosec theta is nothing but sin theta inverted so it would be 3 by 1 or just 3 sec theta would be inverse of cos theta so we'll have 3 by 2 root 2 and cot theta would be 2 root 2 by 1 or just 2 root 2 now wasn't this pretty simple so if you are given just one ratio you can find out all the other five ratios just by applying the pythagoras theorem now you see why the pythagoras theorem was so important in the next video we'll talk about a few ratios for some particular angles like for 30 degree 60 degree 45 degree 